from Chicago, Illinois. 190 pounds. He'll be wearing the burgundy and gold trunks. Young Joe Lewis. His opponent, his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, 190 pounds, wearing the brown and the red trunks, the IBF World Cruiserweight Champion, Leroy Murphy. We're getting ready now. You're looking at the cruiserweight champion of the world, according to the world of the IBF, Leroy Murphy. I hope he remembers to take the uh, sweatshirt off. <laughs> I think he will. Referee for this bout is going to be Stanley Berg. 15 rounds. The scoring done by three judges. Stanley Berg, all he's got to do is judge the uh, score, work the fight, and that score it. I don't believe... Uh, judge a referee should be the scorer of the fight it's just too much for him to handle especially in a fight like this there you're looking at the records Leroy Murphy 21 and 0 and 27 and 3 for young Joe Lewis opening bell seconds away this fight is being scored also on a 10 point system the three knockdown rule has been waived you wonder is this thing going to go 15 rounds? I hate to tell you, I bet your paycheck, your paycheck, that it won't go 15 rounds. Well, then I agree with you, so you won't take my paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. We've got Joe Lewis, the young Joe Lewis in the purple. Both weighed in today at the weight limit of 190 pounds. Young Joe Lewis boxing. There was a question everybody had, was he going to come out banging or was he going to come out boxing? And I think it's best for him that he comes out boxing because Leroy Murphy, I think... He's best in those early rounds. He's got seven first-round knockouts. That is correct. And young Joe is not doing what I thought he was going to do. I anticipated that he was going to come out like normal, come right at uh, Leroy Murphy. But right now, he is content to dance around the ring. I believe he's trying to get his blood circulating a little bit. The nervous energy is in him, so he's got to move around. He's been there before fighting for a title, a Casio, and he did not make it. He wants this food away title, Randy. Well, you got a real good boxer in there in young Joe Lewis and a real good slugger. And Leroy Murphy, who's going to execute? Are the bombs going to get in? There's a lot of power in that ring right now. And young Joe Lewis will really have to continue to do like he's doing now because if he's going to get tagged by Leroy Murphy, Murphy's got the leather. 21 men in a row. And I think if Joe is going to get tagged by Murphy, he wants to do it going back. So there's not that much power. He's going to nullify the power by backing up. You know, this is a 15-round fight. Let's look back at a, another slugger boxer kind of matchup. September 16th, 1981. Sugar Ray Leonard against Tommy Hearns. Hearns came into the fight with a reputation just knocking everybody out. Sugar Ray Leonard, the boxer. So what Sugar Ray Leonard did, for five rounds, he gave the fight away. I mean, he did virtually nothing. But it, was, it was the little things he did. He taunted him. He talked to Tommy. And he started to take Tommy's heart. By the sixth round, he was ready to go to work. But I was wondering, Sugar Ray, what are you doing? We didn't know what he was doing. Sixth round, he went to work, planted a couple of real good body digs, and Tommy Hearns all of a sudden became the boxer Sugar Ray Leonard, the slugger. I think young Joe Lewis, in my opinion, he should become a boxer, give away five, six rounds. But that he has to he has to be able to maintain that ability to move around the ring. Because to give away five or six rounds with uh, Leroy Murphy, and he, he ends up getting caught, it will not be a comeback situation for him, more than likely. Because Leroy Murphy, he packs the power in that punch. And right now, young Joe is doing an excellent job of staying his distance, circling around the ring, staying out of trouble. Problem is with him, he's got to do an excellent job for 180 seconds every round. Because that is correct. Leroy Murphy's got the power to end the fight one shot. Young Joe is popping the jab in there on Murphy right now. But what's going to happen, that is what gets Murphy riled up. He continues to take those punches, and after a while, he says no more, and he goes to work. We've got about five seconds to go here in the opening round of this world title bout. Keep in mind tonight that young Joe Lewis is a converted southpaw, which means... He's a left. He's a left-hander. He signs his autographs like that, and there you're looking at him. The big power from him is going to be his left hand, whether he throws the hook with it or the jab with it. And we're going to see him use a lot of those jabs. Remember, that is his power hand. And when the fight first began, what we saw here, right above us, 
Leroy Murphy walked into a stiff jab from Young Joe, and it popped his head back. So that power is definitely in that jab. That was the same way it was with Joe Frazier. He had that left hand. He was a converted southpaw. He was a southpaw turned to a right-hand fighter. Well, it was two years ago that Young Joe Lewis, December 15th, 1982, took on Ozzy Ocasio in Chicago, lost a 15-round decision for the WBA Junior Heavyweight title. You're looking across the ring now at Leroy Murphy, the champ of the IBF. Round number four, scheduled 15-round bout, and so far, Leroy Murphy not wasting much energy. Young Joe Lewis doing a lot of dancing, burning up a lot of fuel right now. Got a long way to go. Remember, 15-round bout is equivalent to one hour of brawling. And a lot of that bouncing will add to that 15 rounds in that one hour. So that might make it uh, maybe an hour and a half or two hours. You and I like to talk about a fighter relaxing, and young Joe Lewis indeed is relaxed. The legs, he's bouncy on the legs, upper body moving, he's thinking in there, and when he's throwing that jab, he's bringing it back high. There's no question he's relaxed. He just can't get too relaxed. And he's keeping Leroy Murphy off balance. Uh, let's go back one decade now. One, uh, actually two decades, 20 years. Cassius Marcellus play, and against Sonny Liston, the boxer against the murderous puncher. I remember my dad telling me, I know you like the kid. He ain't gonna go two rounds. He danced and danced and took Sonny Liston apart. Right now, well, young Joe Lewis, not a kid, but he's doing a real good job so far. And he was not really expected to dance as much as he's dancing. As I said, he was expected to come right out to young, to, uh, to Leroy Murphy and take the fight to him. But he's doing more dance. Oh, there's a left and a right. Almost a victory from Young Joe Lewis. He got hit with a few good shots, and he got away from there, and he was happy about it. And you wonder, is Leroy Murphy going to get psyched? And there, a right hand bounces off the head of Leroy Murphy. Boy, a lot of thinking going on in this fight. Believe it. You can see the intensity in both guys' eyes. This is where you just really want to be a fight fan. Sit back, put a couple of hot dogs in your face, and down a couple of beers. <laughs> this is an interesting fight. This is the one that you don't want to get up and go out of the room from because you're going to miss something, definitely. So Young far, Joe, he is snapping that jab. Very good. I was about to say, so far, that's the story of this fight, that jab of Young Joe Lewis. Not that it's really damaging or anything. It's just keeping Leroy Murphy off balance. And Murphy's corner will have to tell him something he's got to do to nullify that jab, cut that ring off, get inside, get under that jab, and pop some punches in there. We've got just under 30 seconds to go here, round number four. Murphy tries to get in, and young Joe Lewis uses those good legs, those 28-year-old legs, dances away, now he goes to his right, makes Murphy miss again with the left hand. And that's right the hand. That is the best punch landed by Murphy. That's solid blow, and look, he's still on his feet. There's another right hand, and young Joe's beginning to slow a little bit. Murphy's catching up to him. That's what Joe does. That won't happen to him. Well, for most of round number four, it was old young Joe Lewis. Well, we're getting ready. Round number six. There's the warning buzzer. The champion off his stool. Ready. Number six, scheduled 15 round bout for the International Boxing Federation Cruiser Weight Championship. This has turned into an interesting fight. Up to this point, neither guy has marked. There have been no knockdowns. It just has been a real interesting fight. A lot of action, a lot of thinking. Young Joe Lewis tries a combination, everything blocked, and he keeps on the move, turning those wheels. Oh yes, he's got to keep on the move. He cannot slow down, and he knows that. You remember? I remember when. Uh, uh, Bob Foster fought with Mike Quarry. He said, as long as the kid continues to move, he'll stay in the fight. When he stops, I'll get him. When when Quarry stopped, he went out. Stayed out for quite a while. And you mean out. What <laughs> left hook that was. Bob Foster, in my book, hardest punching light heavyweight of all time. And you look at the guy and you figure, he does not have, how can there be power in this frame? You know, but the guy had power, awesome power. I have to think that if Bob Foster was fighting today, forget it. No cruiserweight, no light heavyweight. Anybody could beat that man. What? No, he was tough. 
Meanwhile, young Joe Lewis conserving a bit of energy because he's got plenty of daylight between himself and the champion. And as soon as the champion moves in, the champion will take two steps in, Lewis takes three steps back. And that's the smart way to fight it. Get out of there. You know, you look at young Joe Lewis's body, I call it a beach body, and you wonder, did he ever lift weights? I asked him that, he said, no sir, never touched a weight in my life. He was raised on a farm in Mississippi. He said he did a lot of lifting very heavy bales of hay when he was a kid. He said, I continue to do that through my adolescence, and that's what the muscles are from. And that will do it every time. You know, he's built stocky, somewhat like a Walter Payton. If you look at Walter Payton, this is the way this guy is built, the same way. Bad place for him to be near the corner, and sure enough, he moves right out. Oh, yes. Very few punches have landed this round. It's been a frustrating round on the part of the champion who tries to get inside, but Lewis keeps him away. This is a very frustrating round to score, too, because very little is being done on the part of both fighters. Either guy, if they open up a little bit, the round could be theirs. Yes. After this round, I'm going to check your score, sir. Okay. <laughs> Gotta take a peek, let everybody else peek. If you're scoring at home, how do you score? Peek at your friend's scorecard. Okay. She won't let you, I know. <laughs> Under 30 seconds to go, round number six, in a very interesting world title bout. Oh, young Joe Lewis missed with the right uppercut. He left himself wide open. Yes, he did. Leroy Murphy never took advantage of it. We got about 10 seconds to go, round number six. And this one is heating up. Don't go away. Okay, this one is getting hotter and hotter. I don't care what the temperature is outside down in the teens, but it is starting to blaze here. That is the undefeated champion, Leroy Murphy. We've been saying what a banger he is, and he truly is, but so far we haven't seen it. seven how many people said it wouldn't go this far i was one of them well leroy is going after he threw a right hand at the head of young joe lewis he is going for the knockout because he said the fight wouldn't go no longer than eight rounds so if this is the seventh round he's trying to live up to his agreement or his promise that he, he made to himself that he would stop this fight in eight Yeah, that, that's better. The promise. The agreement is wrestling. <laughs> right. Get, get, get him straight. <laughs> oh, now, now I'm going to get the, the letters from the wrestling fan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you said it, I didn't. <laughs> Can I give you your address? <laughs> Bad place for young Joe to be. Right in front of Leroy Murphy. Can't take that chance to stand there. Remember, Bill Kahn tried it against Joe Lewis. The Brown Bomber, he was beating him through almost 13 rounds, and he said, hey, I'm not going to be content to win the title on decision. Let me see if I can knock the Brown Bomber out. He Mistake. paid for it and fell. He did. And it was funny because years later, he said to Lewis, you know, couldn't you have been a nice guy and let me hold the title for six months or so? <laughs> Lewis said to him, you couldn't even hold it for six more minutes. <laughs> you had it, and you couldn't hold it. And it was so true. And right now, I have to say that I don't know. On my unofficial scorecard, I got a four rounds to two for Leroy Murphy, but really close. What's your scorecard look like? Well, I have Leroy Murphy slightly ahead, but young Joe is coming strong. He's not that far behind. What I think he's got to do is a bit more work. He's putting those punches, well, not together. One, two, then he holds on and gets out of there. He's yes. got to step into a few of those shots, and I think at this point he's got to make Leroy Murphy really respect him. Murphy's walking in just too much, overconfident, I think. Well, he's not making the man respect him, and I agree with you. And what he's doing, he's backing up. As you said, one, two punches, then he runs a bit. Or dancing his way out of it. Murphy, open up with the right hand, and you hear that woo from young Joe. Well, these rounds are close to some of the solid blows are being landed now by Murphy. Good head shot before a right hand. Swing and a miss. Strike one. There it is. <laughs> and, and Leroy Murphy's going for the home run hit. And the crowd starting to move crazy now for their favorites. In Murphy's corner, he's got a contingent. They're yelling for him. Look what he does. It's called seesaw. When he throws the left jab, watch his right hand. The right hand moves right. all the way back. It's called seesaw. Yes. And a good left hooker will catch oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. There's a right hand to the head. 
Bing, that good left hand by Leroy Murphy. Starting to land solidly now. As Young Joe... And Joe is not bouncing so much. Ooh, ooh. He got him against the rope. That's where Young Joe does not want to be. And Murphy's keying off, but Joe's fighting back. Just a few seconds to go in an action-packed round. That was the finest round for Leroy Murphy because two things happened. He started to turn on the pressure and Young Joe Lewis started to slow down. There's that right hand and I agree, he slowed down. He did not do any dancing around. He got hung on the rope for a moment and Leroy Murphy went to work, as you can see, with lefts and rights and uppercuts and Young Joe did fight back. Look he got a good hook shot. there. As you said earlier, a good left hooker just might get Leroy Murphy who's so wide open. Look where that right hand is, it's inviting. Round number nine. You're not, it's not a mistake. You're seeing it. Round nine. Most boxing aficionados figure this is going to go one, two, maybe three rounds. I believe young Joe Lewis when he told me I'm coming right out, banging. I said to myself, if you do, pal, it's over in one. Well, he did his homework. And you know what? I see no reason. They say, at 28 years old, this is your second title shot, you lose a fight, quit. I see no reason why that man should quit. No, he was representing himself very well, and he should stay in the game. And I don't think he's going to quit. He said he wouldn't quit if he didn't win this fight. Good, right now. If it was a first round knockout, Randy, I would say quit. Oh yeah. And right now, he's certainly not thinking of quitting or retiring from boxing. Right now, I think he's wondering, geez, there's a right hand. It, it hurt him, and Murphy's on the attack right now. Well, I was about to say, Young Joe Lewis thinking about his first title defense. This thing's got a long way to go. Oh, it has. If, of course, one guy doesn't land a bomb. And Murphy's finding the range with that right hand. And if he follows up with a hook, it may be good night time. Young Joe's doubling up to the body with on Leroy Murphy with that hook. Uh, Murphy throws a lazy right hand. You gotta hear Murphy in there. Rather, I keep calling him Murphy. Let's switch him around. <laughs> Young Joe Lewis in the purple. Every time he gets hit with a good shot, he lets out a woo. <laughs> and a lot of people criticize him during the Acasio fight for doing that. They say you're doing that and you're, you're losing ground. And I believe there's an abrasion now. It looks like a scrape or something on the left side of the eye of young Joe Lewis. Ooh, there's that hook. The challenger took it well and dances away. Bang. Leroy Murphy tries to open up and he gets shoved away by the challenger. Young Joe is a very strong young man. He pushed Leroy around like he's pushing around his bale of hay. Those legs of young Joe, they are in some shape. 30 seconds to go here. Round number nine. A lot of jump rope he did. A lot of road work Road here. work, oh yes. In the windy city. Bet you he ran into the wind. <laughs> Along the lakefront. We got 10 seconds to go in a fight that just keeps getting better and better as it goes along. Okay, both fighters return to their corners. Now that round, I thought, went back to Leroy Murphy, the champion. And don't go by my scoring, it's unofficial. Don't <laughs> cheat. You people out there have a tendency to cheat. Here we go, round 11. The IBF Cruiserweight Championship, this thing is not scheduled for 12, it's scheduled for 15 rounds, and in my book, that's a championship fight. 15 rounds. That is correct. 15 hard-fought rounds. Sonny in that 14-round fight against Marvin Camel, who's such a slick boxer, but so prone to cuts around the eyes, yes. under the eyes. Did Murphy have this much trouble? No, Murphy didn't have this much, but Murphy was losing the fight until that 14th round. What was happening, 
Campbell was dancing. He was moving pretty much like Young Joe. He stayed away, and that is perhaps where Young Joe got the idea. Stay away from this guy. He can't catch me because this is what Campbell did. Oh, there's a right hand. They traded right hands, and Young Joe's holding on a bit. He's holding on. Well, he's going to use all his experience. Some of that bounce is gone. He's fighting on heart now. He takes another right hand and a left hook, and another right hand and another one. Some of those blows picked off on the gloves of the challenger, but the bounce is gone, and I think he's resigned out to slug it out. But there's a damaged right, left eye on the champion. Leroy Murphy is swollen. It's perfect. He is going to have some shining tomorrow. They both are. And both guys are content to stand right on top of one another and bang away now. As you said, young Joe is not dancing. Oh, he took the right hand. Oh, he walked into it. This is where Murphy... I believe this is where Murphy... Up. Yeah. Yes. But Murphy took a hook. And Joe's hollering again with that little yell of his. And he's coming alive. The challenger whooping it up. The crowd... Many of them on their feet now. This one could end with one shot from either guy. They're both tired. They're and Murphy both is leaning on the ropes right now, Randy. And that is what we haven't seen all night with Murphy with his back on the rope. These guys are now being called. They have to suck it up, reach down and pull it out. Oh, the right uppercut by Murphy got in. And it hurt young Joe Lewis. And Murphy walked into a right hand from Young Joe. But Joe was backing up. Oh, there's a left right combination to the head of Young Joe for Murphy. And another right. And Murphy and Young Joe holds on again. There's still power. There's plenty of power in the part of the and champion. Young Joe doing everything he can to stay in close. He smothered the punches to take the power away. He comes right back. uppercut that was so wild and amateurish on the part of the champion but young joe lewis too tired to take advantage of it with a counter left hook and this one Ooh, what an uppercut for joe almost history the crowd on their feet now you're looking into the corner of the challenger young joe lewis and that tank is just about reading empty. Round number 12. And no, this is not the final round. This is the IBF. This is scheduled for that championship distance, 15 rounds. And there's a lot of uh, grease of the Vaseline on young Joe's left eye. And Murphy begin, both guys begin to open up in the middle of the ring. I really think that if young Joe Lewis can suck it up a little bit and start boxing a little bit more, he can stop the champion. Of course, the champion is not thinking along those lines. He's looking to get that still at one bomb in. But he's got to stop looking for that one bomb and set it up off the boom. Murphy got hit with a right hand, but it didn't do any damage, and he came back and caught young Joe. Powerful jab to the head of Young Joe from Lewa. And Young Joe tagged Murphy upside the right side of his, the left side of his head with a right hand. Well, there's no quit in either guy right here, Randy. Oh, my goodness, no. Look at the shots both are taking. I think it's a fight plan now with Young Joe Lewis to stay right on top of Leroy Murphy, either right on top of him or about 200 yards away. Yes. Doesn't want to. Ooh, a right hand. And he stopped Young Joe in his track. Young Joe is about to go. He's all over him right now, Randy. I think he's oh. on. He's putting him away. Oh, that's oh. it for Young Joe. Oh. Was, that's it. We knew it would be a matter of time, Randy, before Leroy Murphy would key off with that right hand. And he worked a long time. It was not easy for him here in the Bismarck Hotel right here in Chicago. The champion proved that he is the champ, Randy. He certainly did because he was tired, he was battered, and he was getting hit and hit and hit. But, as we've been pointing out, he's got explosive power. The unofficial time, 137 of the 12th round. Let's go to the ring announcer now, Ben Bentley. Given 